Yo, I love those rap parts every time. What is up, you guys? We are back with part five of our Eyes One series. It is crazy. We are cruising along. Now, we are gonna be reacting to Panorama, the music video, and then we are gonna get into the dance practice. After that, I've mentioned, we're done with the title tracks. We're gonna be reacting to a guide, and then it's open. I mean, if you guys have suggestions, please let me know. I actually have a Discord server. If you guys wanna come through, drop some suggestions there, maybe down in the comments. Either way, would love some suggestions from you guys. Now, I've heard a lot of really, really good things about this song. It seems to be a lot of people's favorite song, at least in terms of the title track. So, as always, guys, I mean, when are we not excited to get into these videos, right? So let's get it. All right, guys, we are on the music video for Panorama. Let's get it. Already with that imagery in the choreography. That effect in the back just kind of made a pop more. That was really cool. Okay, really quick, sorry to pause early. I'm probably gonna mention this in every single one of these Eyes One videos, so I apologize, but the freaking visuals in Eyes One are absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, it's crazy. Her hair is sick. Yo, I love the tone of her voice. It's so cute. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Yo, this is funky, I love it. Yo! Yo, let's go! Yo, I love those rap parts every time. Okay. A few of you mentioned the girl in the last video that caught my eye, that's been catching my eye, is Yenna. Is this Yenna in the center here with the kind of brown hair? If it is, yeah. That's all we're gonna say. It's gonna be Yenna, isn't it? Yeah, I love the way that comes in. Yo, that synth is so funky. Okay. I think one of the biggest things that I respect from them and that I like about them is the fact that they have a style, they have a sound, and they stick to it. Even if they experiment with different genres and instrumentals, they have that Eyes One sound. It's like if you were to just be listening to a song, you're walking around somewhere, and it was them, you would know that it was them almost because they have that style that they stay true to, and it's really, really cool. But within that style, again, they're, they're doing a lot within that. It's really, really cool to see. Yo, 
Yo, let's go. I'm just slaying that note. Yo! Okay. Okay, the song hits. The song hits super hard. Again, it's interesting. It's almost kind of like a combination of the last two songs a little bit. It has a lot of the same elements as Fiesta, but then it just comes in a lot harder, a lot more bass. A huge delivery on the chorus, but the song overall is super fantastic. All right, guys, we are on to the dance practice. I swear in these videos, I try so hard to keep my simp level down, but sometimes that's just hard. There's certain idols that just make it too hard. Yo, even the head movement is on point. They all have such graceful movement too, it's so crazy. Even the hierography, it's so crazy. Okay, <clears throat> it might be a little bit too early to tell, so I'm not gonna say this for sure, but I think that Violetta has moments that stand out more, but so far, in terms of just overall choreography, it might just be this one. There are so many, so, so many little intricate things that they do that I'm sure, again, I'm sure I could watch this video, you know, 10 more times and find something completely different every time. Yo, that sassy little neck move she does. Damn. They're super good at kind of alternating between kind of this, like, these aggressive, hard-hitting dance moves and then kind of the, the slow, graceful, really pretty, elegant movements that they do. And they kind of just rotate between the two a little bit. It's kind of a really cool formula that it, it works really well. There's definitely a lot happening in this. I feel like I need to watch this a bunch. Fully appreciate it. 
Yo, that little note. The end of the high note. Damn, dude. Damn, okay. Again, I don't feel like I can give it like a full good review because it, it there are so many small intricate things that they're doing with their fingers while they're hitting big movements. There's just so much going on and there's so many members. But I mean, obviously it's just incredible. I mean, there's no questioning how good it is. Thank you so much for watching. As always guys, it really, really does mean so much to me. Now here's the quick summary on the song. And I really, really hate to say this, especially because I said it in the last video and I complained about how much of a cliche it is in the last video, but this is it. This is the song. This is the title track. It's my favorite. I mentioned with Violetta, it had these moments in the choreography that really, really stood out to me, just really popped and they're just ingrained in my memory. Well, this song felt engaging the entire time with the choreography. It wasn't just a couple moments that really stood out to me. I was engaged the entire time. And there was, again, so many little intricacies and, and so much to consume that I feel like you could watch it a million times and just and find something different every single time. But with the one watch, and missing all of that and only only gaining so much, it's still that engaging and it's still that incredible to me. So for that, it's my favorite choreography overall. Now, it's a little bit less on top in terms of the music goes. Um, they're all pretty close, I would actually say, in terms of the songs themselves. This felt like, again, you take these kind of fun, funky elements that Fiesta has and then the just really hard delivery of Swan and you kind of combine them and you get one song. And I think for that reason, this is the best song. This is the best title track to me, obviously, my, my opinion. And and you, you combine that with the choreography and again, the production and the visuals and everything that this music video had, that is why it's my favorite song. It kind of feels like the production has leveled up with each one of these videos too, kind of a lot. It's really, really cool to see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. As I mentioned, I do have a Discord server. If you wanna come hang out, talk eyes one, other groups, you name it. I'll put a link into the I'll put a link in the description below. Guys, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one.